Hello and welcome to chapter 5, part 5. In this part, we are going to be working on the win state for the game. We've done the lose state, so we only have to do the win state now. Now the win state for the maze game is when we obviously reach the end of the maze, which is indicated by this platform here. Currently, this platform is just a static mesh. So in this part, we're going to make this interactive so we can actually walk on it and end the, end the level. So first thing we do is going to go into our blueprints folder and make a new blueprint class. We're going to choose an actor and we're going to call this one goal platform. Open this up and we're going to add that static mesh into it. I've called mine platform mesh. Go over to the static mesh options and choose platform. It's material, it's going to be gold. Now we're also going to need a trigger volume for our player to be detected in. So go to add component and we're going to add a sphere collision for this. In this sphere collision, I'm going to set its radius to 100. And that should cover the whole width of our platform. In fact, let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's change it to 80. So there we go, that's a bit better. So on this platform, we're going to go to the event graph and we're going to determine when the player has walked over it. So let's clear that graph out. Click on your sphere collision component and right click in your blueprint graph. And in there, do begin overlap. And you want to choose add a component begin overlap. Now if the other actor is the player, that's when we want to do stuff. So we go other actor equals equals and we will make the other actor the get player character put that into a branch and if it's true that means the player's won so for this we'll just do a print string for now and do compile and close now rather than go through the whole entire level each time I'm going to put one fairly close to the start Let's just put one here to test it out. Push play. And we'll walk into it. You can see the hello message come up in the top left hand corner there. So now we've got that working, we just need to get it actually doing the win state of the game. So I'm going to go into my game mode settings, maze game mode. And much like how we got a lose custom event, we're also going to do a win custom event. So go custom event and call this win. And on the win, we can do something very similar to this. In fact, we can copy and paste quite a lot of this. So I'm going to select everything up to the camera fade. And also the remove from parent and delay. So everything from the start to the delay. We're going to copy that with control C and paste it with control V. So the only difference I'm going to make here is change it from a red color to a white color. So let's just change that to white and click OK. So when I reach the end, it will disable the input from the player character and tell the camera manager to start fading the camera to a white. It's going to remove the heads-up display and delay for two seconds. After which, we'll create a screen for it to show the win state for the game. So we can close that and call that event on our call platform. So rather than doing print string, we're going to get the game mode and cast to maze game mode and call that win function. Hit compile and let's test that out. And there you have it. So when you get to the screen, we're going to say you have won and then give us give the player some options. Thanks very much for watching this part. Join us in part six, where we start adding those options and that win menu screen at the end there. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. 
and I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.